Um, lately, I've seen a lot of interest on Bitcoin, blockchain, and cryptocurrency in general. So I've decided to make a series of tutorials, um, just giving the basic information that you need um, when you start with uh, Bitcoin and blockchain and cryptocurrencies in general. Um, first, I'm going to um, to show you how to navigate um, on blockchain explorers, um, especially for Bitcoin. Um, I'm sure by now you know that um, Bitcoin uh, runs on blockchain, um, which is a decentralized network. And um, that public ledger is available for everybody to see. So I'm going to show you um, just the basic information that you need to know um, that when you start um, receiving and sending uh, Bitcoins, um, you will know what's happening on the, on the blockchain. Okay, there are a couple of websites that you can use um, to explore this explorer or this blockchain or the public ledger. Um, the one of them um, that I use, uh, which I think they are uh, the bigger ones that has got enough information, uh, because not all of them have the same information. Um, some have got um, extra information that you might not need when you when you start. Okay, blockchain.com, um, it's one of the big ones, uh, one of the um, main ones that I use. Um, there's also a blockcipher.com, and then there's also blockstream.info. I will put all the information on the video notes so that uh, you will be able to use them in the future. Okay, so let's go back to blockchain.com. Um, you need to go to the data and then you go to Bitcoin Explorer. So I'm just going to show you um, the basic information that you need. Um, okay, so Bitcoin is um, on the blockchain, it's grouped in blo blocks. So um, it started from a Genesis block and then block one up to the current block, which is block 587088. So on this explorer, you can find all the information on blockchain, all the transactions that have ever happened since the beginning of Bitcoin in 2009. So if you've got a transaction ID, you can find all the information where the Bitcoin came from, where the Bitcoin went. All right, so I'm just gonna go and open uh, one of the um, random block. Um, I'm gonna open 587084. So I'm just gonna go through some of the um, important information. Uh, I'm not gonna go through everything. I'm just gonna explain some of the important inf information that I think you need to know. So um, this is the block 587084. So what does that mean? Um, it means that since the beginning of, of, of um, Bitcoin, there have been 587084 blocks. So starting from block one. All right, so in this block, this is the summary of the block, in this block, 2,354 trans transactions were made. Um, and then the estimated transaction volume, uh, these are the Bitcoins that were moved or sent, um, 520. And then transaction fee, 0 0.21. This is the transaction fee, you know, every time when you are sending a Bitcoin, the sender pays the fees to the miners. So 0 0.21, that was the total that was paid in this transaction on this block. Okay, I spoke about the, the height is basically meaning the, um, the block number um, and then the time stamp. This is the time when the block was um, produced. And then um, the miner who solved this block, it's unpulled. Um, the other thing that is important, um, the size of the block, um, about 1.2 megabytes. Um, all right, and then at the bottom, the block reward. You know, every time, every 10 minutes, when the miner find the block or when the miner uh, solve the block, uh, the miner receives 12.5 bitcoins currently. This will halve next year in 2020 um, to 6.75. Every four years, the block reward um, halves. So this miner and pool receive 12.5 plus 0.21 uh, on fees. Okay, on the right hand side here, we've got the hash. The hash is like um, a unique code that identifies the block. So if you take this, uh, if you copy this um, this code and paste it anywhere in the internet, you will come to this um, to this block. So it's a unique for code. It's not used by any other thing except this block. This one is for the previous block and then the next block. 
Okay, now let's go to the transactions into the block. So all those 2,354 transactions, they will be in here inside this, this block. So if your transaction happen in that block, you go in here, you're gonna find your, your address or the address of the person that you send uh, the Bitcoins to. It will be here. And then every time, always the first one on top, it will be the 12.5 Bitcoins that have been um, mined. Uh, by this miner, the, the reward there, uh, it will be this one. It won't have any history because they are new Bitcoins. Obviously, plus the uh, 0 0.21, which is the fees that's going into this address. Okay, now you can go to um, to any tra any transaction here and then you're going to find all the information that you need on the transaction. Okay, when you send the Bitcoins, you are at least going to have three things. You are going to have them, you are... Um, address the address of the recipient and once you send you are going to have a, um, the id uh, which is a hash of the transaction so that hash you can copy that hash and paste on any of this um, uh, website that I, I told you about that i'm gonna put on the on the show notes and then it's going to give you the information of your transaction you are going to know if that bit, the bitcoin is um, um, reach the recipient um, whether they have been confirmed or not okay we're just gonna go to um, to one of the of the transaction okay I, I clicked on the um, on the hash or transaction ID so this is the transaction where the, this person sent um, this amount of Bitcoin um, here i think they were sending 0 0.1 um, and then there was a return of 15.03 i will explain um, about this return just now okay and then on this transaction um there is the size of transaction the size is very important because in bitcoin you don't pay um by how much bitcoin you're sending you pay by the size of the transaction so the transaction size is important you can also um, I've seen people paying a lot of money on um, sending small transaction because they are not aware that they can um, uh, change amount of, of, of uh, fee that they want to pay depending on um, the priority of the transaction. If they want the transaction to go fast, obviously you need to pay more. But if you are fine for transaction to take some time, you can pay less. You don't just have to take the fee that is available. Okay, the other important thing, okay, we spoke about the block. Uh, this is the block that the transaction was included. Um, the confirmation. The confirmation, um, here is showing six confirmation. What does it mean? It means that this transaction, it was confirmed first on this block, which is 587084. And then there are five more blocks on top of it. So this transaction, it has been confirmed six times. So it means that including the block that is on, there are five more blocks on top of it. Okay, so the total input is showing the amount of Bitcoins that this address has. And then the total output um, is the Bitcoin that have been transacted. The way Bitcoin works is um, when you got, for example, you've got 10 Bitcoin in your account and then you want to send two Bitcoins to somebody. What happens is you are going to have two transactions. You send that 10 Bitcoin. Uh, two Bitcoin will go to this recipient that you are sending and eight will come back to you. So that's what happened here. Um, this person was sending 0 0.1 Bitcoin and then 15.03 went back to his address. Um, you can see that the, the address has changed. This is the this is the sort of a, a privacy thing that most of the wallets uh, have implemented. So you can create as much addresses as possible on one uh, private key. So this address is going ex is exactly the same as this one, or the keys of this address and this address are the same. So this amount is going back to the owner. 0 0.1 is going to the one that going to receive these bitcoins so that's um that's the output that's why the output and the input is exactly the same if you go to this address if you click on this address we're going to click on this address 
I can click on it now, it's gonna show that there's got zero Bitcoins available because everything has gone out. Okay, let's just go back. And then um, the fees, this is the fees that um, this guy has paid to send this Bitcoin. Um, and then the fee per byte. This is what you can you can change. I see this person paid 202.8 Satoshis per byte, which is quite high. Um, at this moment, the mempool is very low, so you can even pay less than 50 Satoshis per byte, depending on how agent is the transaction. Okay. Um, okay, this is estimated BTC that has uh, transacted. 1.01, .01, which is up there, and then this one has gone back. We can go, if we go and check this 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 address, you can click this address, you see, it's only one transaction, that was the return that was coming back, and it's still sitting there. That address still has this amount of Bitcoins. So this is what they are called the um, unspent output. Okay, so this is more or less all that you need to know currently. So the other thing that you can do, you can use, you can copy the, the hash and uh, put it anywhere in any of the um, of the website that you're gonna choose and then you're gonna get exactly the same information um, there is that transaction um, the input this guy had 14.13 it was sent to this person you can see here it even shows the spend like I told you that this um, website they've got different information this one shows you that this one the one that is spent and this one is the one that is unspent meaning that it went back to um, to the owner okay you can open here and see some more details like I told you the different uh, website gives different um, information you can also go let's go and check this address we don't know whose address is this somebody's address you can use your own address if you want to see what's happening. You use your own address and then you search. Okay, so okay, that Bitcoin came in, uh, that came from that guy, and then it has been spent already. That was the transaction that we were looking at. Um, and then it was it has already been spent already, it has moved that address now doesn't have anything. So you can get your address and paste it here and then you're gonna see all the, um, the transaction related to your wallet. And then the most important thing uh, that you need to do, maybe you are sending your Bitcoin from exchange um, to your wallet or from one exchange to another exchange, you need to see this um, confirmation because when you send the, 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 the Bitcoin, it's gonna go and sit in the, in the pool first before the miners pick it up from the pools depending on the fees and then once it's it's, it's, it's taken from the uh, uh, from the pool it's put on the on the chain and then the confirmation they will start um, to happen every every 10 minutes so once it's mined it it's going to have one uh, confirmation and then the next block on top it's going to have another confirmation um, I think most of most of the exchanges they accept two to three confirmations. Once they've got two to three confirmations, they can credit you with those Bitcoins. So this is where you're gonna check if the transaction has gone. If the transaction is still sitting in the pool, if it hasn't been mined or it hasn't been put on the on the chain or on the blockchain, it will show um, unconfirmed. So it's gonna have zero confirmation. Some they call it unconfirmed, some they call it uh, zero confirmation. All right, I think that is all that you need to know now. Um, if you've got any question, um, you can hit me on the comments. Um, I will reply as soon as possible. Thank you.